Vicki here with you and I'm here for day number 12 of 30 inks 30 days this was yesterday's ink and it was beautiful tanzanite which is very uh, close to a purple like more of a purple but in the bluish uh, category um, and yeah it's very it's a very pretty um, pretty ink and it just reminded me that uh, I could have pulled out that ink again for today because I'm changing up my sequence of um, what I'm sharing with you guys basically um, so I was gonna do I was supposed to be doing um, a brown ink today uh, but I got my pen, my Coeco, from Gallon Leather, and I just had to play with it because I just had to. So this, I got the little case with it because it's so pretty, so cute. It holds two pens. It's just perfect size, would go perfectly in a purse and make sure that your pens are not damaged and they don't get lost. And I look at that. Look at the pair. Isn't that pretty? So this is the Coeco Vibrant Violet, and this is the Coeco Violet from Gallon Leather. So you can see, like, this one is a lot more pink than this one. But they look cute together, and they look very pretty in this. And this one is empty now. Um, I emptied it out. I played with it, and it was it's a broad knit it's a double broad nib so clearly it went through really quickly on the ink this one here I did something different something that I had never uh, done before is I took the double broad but the oblique um, nib so it's supposed to be uh, italic oblique left um, so that's what this one is and I don't know why I'm putting that on because basically I want to put the ink in. So because I'm using this this pen, I figured I was going to use uh, the diamond uh, ink, the Mont Bodo's hat. I had so much I have so much trouble pronouncing that. So I suppose it's Mont Bodo's hat. Hopefully, pronouncing it in the French fashion. If Hopefully that's okay. Okay, so I've got a pre and actually no, I want a bigger fill of this one. So I've got a pretty good fill here. Just gonna wipe this down. Obviously, because it's violet on violet, it's not so bad. It's not gonna stain. The, well, it's purple, like on purple, so um, so yeah. I haven't I haven't seen many people purchase a case. Um, they had them in singles and in double, and obviously because I have a lot of pen, I figured double would be better. So let's start off with the chromatography. Oh boy, that's going to be very juicy. Very juicy. It's going to be a lot of fun to write with though. So let's put that in there. And uh, then let's start off this here with a splotch. And bring you down a little bit so that you can actually see. Okay, that's going to be a lot of splotches, but that's okay. I like that. I did take too much in my syringe. That's what happens. Um, 
I want to change this piece of paper for another one that's already started. Put that. And let's do this. And whoa. You can see this is more purple. The other one was or the more violet. I, I never remember which one is which. Which one has, I think it's violet that has more pink and purple has more blue. But maybe it's the opposite. Anyway, I like both of those colors very, very much. So I'm very happy with it. And let's do this. And I've got a feeling it's going to be very wet. So let's have fun and write with this beautiful pen. I was very excited to write with it. So today we're using Diamine. And we're June 12. It makes my end writing look so much better. Okay, so we're using Dr. Seuss A, B, C, and uh, we're doing big L, little L. Oh, that's fun. You can see the line variation because of the the nib. And oh boy, it's juicy. Like, really juicy. But it's not going through the same way as some of the other ones have. So, and it's not feathering the same way either. It's kind of nice. It's funny how there's only a few that did feather, but they feathered pretty bad. And this is like super juicy, but it's doing a really good job. Oh my god, it's such a joy to play with. So I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with this pen. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So now let's compare. Oh, let's check out the chromatography and it's pretty much purple. All the way purple. <laughs> you can't get much more purple than that. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty purple to me anyway. So for this, I compared, I'm bringing out all kinds. So this is Waterman's Tender Purple. You can see this one is brighter than this one. I brought out the Kioro, Kyo Iro Soft Snow of Oera. And you see this one and it has a lot more blue and clearly it's not close then the tanzanite that we had yesterday and you can see that one has a lot of blue in it versus this this one has a lot more pink um the violet same thing so i guess this is violet and this is purple so violet has more blue and purple has more pink i guess that's my answer so twisby royal purple 
Dan Dimine uh, Purple Pizzazz. You can see this one is much darker. Uh, the Bilberry, which is mu much more blue, so much more violet. And the Colorverse uh, Hayabusa, which I think is not that far off. So those are the ones that I had that were the closest. It's funny because I have a lot of, of different inks, but um, they're all like different. Some have more amethyst in them. Um, some are like more reddish purple. Like it's kind of hard to describe. Like, let me pull out my sheet so I can show you what, what I mean. It's like, look at this like this is that that has a lot of pink in it versus something like this so and this one has a lot of red and so does this and this one is the emesis purple but from Mont Blanc but it also has a lot more pink so it, it's kind of hard like this one could have been maybe but still I feel like this one has more blue so it's it's like there's so different the different shades it's just a lot of fun especially for somebody that loves purple and anything purple related so violet purples and teals those are <laughs> my favorite colors of them all so that is it for today here's my splotches really fun and I hope that you've enjoyed let me know what you think and that's it for now. Bye!